Well, hey guys, what's up today? You? Hey guys, how are you? Um, today I'm no. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I'm just oh, no. Damn it! If only I had something that would hold my camera for me while I make videos. Wouldn't that be so convenient? If I were to. Alright, so hello guys, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. You probably didn't ask, you probably don't care. It's cool, whatever. Um, so if you couldn't tell by the intro to this video, this video's kind of about how I finally got a tripod. And, I'm loving it, <laughs> to be honest. I've recorded a couple things, I recorded a band practice video with, with it standing. It's actually really fucking tall. Um, and it's really small at the same time. Like, this is the case for it. It's, you know, just a little bit longer than my head. Then again, I have a big head. Actually, my head's about half of it. So, never mind. It's bigger than I thought, but it's really, like, small and compact compared to, like, the tripods I've dealt with in the past. It's really fucking tiny. And, oh my god, I barely got it, too. So, you know, for those of you who didn't see, it's Trident by Optex. I mean, if you're in Canada and Target's still around, go check them out and, you know, get one of those. Uh, if you're in the U.S., it's probably a lot easier. This is just what I'm using. It's actually really small and compact, and there's... I think my favorite feature is the fact that rather than having, like, most of the tripods I've dealt with had, like, the neck part that adjusted, but it just went like that kind of thing, like a flap. This thing is literally, it's a cylinder with a ball sitting in the middle with a stick on top, and then it has, like, the platform where the camera goes. So you can, like, unscrew that, and the ball moves all around, so I can move my camera any which fucking way I wanted to. Which is awesome. And then there's a little hole inside, which I just discovered when setting this up. To have the camera go sideways to do like a long view, which is pretty fucking cool too. Uh, so yeah, it's just a really cool tripod and I'm highly enjoying it. There's also a hook at the bottom, I guess if you want to like hang it from the ceiling or something to record it upside down. Uh, yeah, it's really fucking cool. It was in the, it was obviously in the camera uh, equipment section by the GoPros. So, I got lucky with the fact that it wasn't a uh, GoPro thing, and it was uh, just a normal screw. Um, also, I recently got this magical thing. Ah! It's, uh, yeah, Smash Bros. 3DS version. Uh, I don't have the new 3DS. I, I still have my old 3DS with the little smiley face on it, which is actually coming off, which kind of makes me sad. Um, but yeah, no, oh my god, it's amazing so far. I mean, if any of you guys want to play with me, <laughs> hit, hit me up, I'll, I'll fucking whoop your ass. Probably not. Um, uh, so far, like in the past games, my favorite character has been, uh, they're not in the back or else I wish they're not actually in this game. My favorite character, not in this game. Which made me really sad. So my favorite character would either be Kirby, if that will focus, I'll give it a second to do its thing. If it hasn't focused by now, then whatever. Sorry. And yeah. Or, uh, it'd be Kirby or Link, obviously. But, uh, Toon Link majority of the time. Um, but no, my new favorite character, which I've been playing a lot of in this game, I got it yesterday and I've been playing shit time. My new favorite character is Little Mac, for sure. Because... And then focus back on me. Please. Uh, because Little Mac is just fucking awesome. And then, I love the fact that he has the KO punch, because I've always been one of those Smash players. I feel like Little Mac was made for people like me. Because I've always been one of those Smash players who will play and play half-decent when, you know, I'm not fucking around with Jigglypuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they didn't add Jigglypuff in this game, which made me sad. Cause Jigglypuff was like my favorite character to fuck around with. Anyway. Um, 
Yeah. To like when I play half decent when I'm not fucking around with Jigglypuff doing like a shit ton of rollout and killing myself often. Um, but 90% of the time I never kill anybody. Um, because of the fact that I just can't. Right? Like I, I, I fucking, I don't know why. I just can't. Um, so I feel like Little Mac is like the perfect character for me. Because he kind of, if you can nail that KO punch and it's fucking perfect. And that person is just done, one hit. And I have played a couple games with Little Mac. I played the Wii U version with a couple of my friends. And I played Little Mac. And I've played, I think, like... Actually, I can't count. I, let's just say I, I got the game yesterday and I can't count how many matches I've played on two hands. Even if I include my feet can't count that. So it's more than 20. Um, yeah, but, uh, and I never missed a KO punch. So, you know, call me cocky, if you will. I'm just very strategic. I missed with the smash ball all the fucking time. KO punch, I have never fucking missed that. Because I will have the KO punch, well, either, okay, dying doesn't count as missing the KO punch, because I've died a couple times when I had the KO punch. Um, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, so basically Little Mac is a character from the uh, Nintendo game Punch-Out, uh, which is basically Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Everybody's heard of that fucking game. They remade it for the Wii without Mike Tyson. I don't know what was going on there. Anyway, uh, the point is that Little Mac is a character from that game, and Little Mac uh, basically has like a combo meter, I guess. And the more you hit people, the more the meter goes up, and once the meter fills up all the way, and then like goes over because I've had it filled up all the way and I tried to use a KO punch and I, I was like, why isn't it working? Uh, and then you know, once it goes over and it says KO on his little thing, basically I believe it's you just tap B. It's like your smat, your uh, Super Smash. Is it Super Smash? When you have the Smash Ball? Pretty sure. Final Smash? One of those things. Um, basically like you just tap B I believe, don't quote me on that. And then he just punches in front of him. If nobody's there, that does nothing. If somebody's there, then it automatically knocks him out and kills him. I say kill him because I'm a violent person. Um, so yeah, I never miss a little Max KO punch when I actually like got to use it. Um, I've died with it several times, uh, but I've never missed one. So yeah, I'm pretty cocky about that. Yeah, if you guys want to hit me up and play me, I'll fucking verse your ass in Smash Bros. Probably lose horribly, but you know, sucks for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, so yeah, other than, <laughs> other than this tripod and the Super Smash Bros, I haven't really done anything new recently. Um, I purchased, actually, Super Mario World on the uh, Wii Virtual Console. So, that is actually, like, one of my favorite games. So, I don't know. Someone's jumping around upstairs. Uh, I've always wanted to record that game. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to it. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm this guy who plays games. And I'm going to be this guy who edits this fucking video. Because that's always fun. <laughs> Peace out.